Hey guys, so I am back. It has, I just realized it has been two weeks since I have filmed and uploaded and yeah. Just time goes by so fast and things come up and schedules get crazy and yeah. I have tons of video. Oh shoot, I have swatches from my Glitter with Grace video. Hold on. Alright, so if you guys don't know, I do have a beauty channel with my sister. It's called Glittered with Grace. I will leave that right here for you guys and down below. You know, go check it out. So, like I was saying, I have a bunch of video ideas and lists and preparations, but I felt like I wanted to share this with you guys because, you know, I'm real, I'm human, I have feelings. And I did recently get an email from someone probably like a month ago. And I don't, I should have looked it up before I started filming, but they were sharing their story with me and I was, you know, it's cool that they're reaching out, but then they also made a comment where I was like, I don't have feelings anymore about infertility. You're not sad anymore about it. And it didn't really do anything to me. It didn't like phase me until I did go through a phase where I was really kind of sad and upset recently and I it like clued in I'm like I am human like what the heck <laughs> just because I'm trying my best to be more positive and more confident and trusting God doesn't mean that I don't have feelings you know what I mean but this isn't like a stop poor me video I just wanted to share this with you guys to show you that I'm I'm still dealing with it too I'm still one of you guys I'm still waiting for my turn to have a baby just like you guys and I don't know, it just, the way it all worked out was pretty funny to me that that email came, it didn't, I didn't even think about it, I'm like, well, I'm not perfect, but whatever, and, and then I recently had my couple days where I was, like, sad, and then I remembered, oh my gosh, that email, like, it, it all made sense, but anyways, that's the backstory on this video, and why I want to share this with you guys is because this is my real life, and i I really do want a baby, like desperately, and I had a couple of days recently where I was just like sad, and I mean, I always have those feelings where I'm sad that I don't have a baby, and I'm still waiting and praying for us to get pregnant, but I had a couple of days where I was just like, man, I wasn't, I wasn't being positive at all. I. I lost myself for a minute, I think, I guess, but I kind of let my emotions and my thoughts kind of take over and like snowball affect everything, but I don't know. I just, I was sad. I keep rambling. I didn't prepare for this video. I'm just filming because I just want this to be really real, but I kept having thoughts where I was like, this isn't going to happen for me. Like I'm literally never going to have a baby. I'm 27. We've been trying for five years. I know 27 isn't old, but I was that girl in high school where I was like, yeah, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna have a family in a couple years. Like that's just, that's just how my thought was. That was my hopes and dreams, and because I always wanted to be a mom, so I didn't plan to not be a mom at 27. The past the, or those couple days, I was just like, man, it's never, it's literally never gonna happen for me. It's, I'm never gonna be a mom. I, I just didn't feel like. It didn't feel real to me that I was trying to convince myself that I was never going to have a baby. I feel like I'm not getting my point across, but I'm just, I'm doing this video just the way it is. During that sadness, I didn't really reach for my Bible. I just kind of sulked in my feelings, which was problem number one. Every time you feel sad, you have to just reach out to God. Reach out, like read your Bible, do a devotion, pray, listen to worship music, and I just didn't do it, and it just made things worse. And it opened my eyes again to how deep and sad or deeply sad I was before because I felt a glimpse just a little tiny bit of how I was feeling before and I was just sad I hope this video makes sense I just wanted to confess with you guys of my true feelings of how sometimes it's just really hard and no matter how strong you try to be you're still going to have those days where it's like, dang, this is this sucks. Although I am so happy for everyone who gets to have babies right now and are getting pregnant and almost having babies. Like Abby's about to have her baby like any day now, it feels like. And there's no jealousy or sadness. 
there's a couple posts on Facebook from other people where it was just like, dang, makes me sad. Also, I'm just going to be rambling this video, okay? So just deal with it. But I have a friend that reached out to me when she was struggling and wanting babies, a baby so bad, and um, I was praying for her and helping her through it, and her babies just celebrated two years. And although I am so happy, why am I crying? I am so happy for her. It's when she told me she was pregnant, it was like the best, like the best news, you know? You always rejoice when people have been trying and yeah. But there's no feelings of jealousy towards her because I mean, all babies are a blessing, but seeing that her babies are two, she had twins, I mean, if you're watching this, you know you are, but um, they just celebrated a two-year birthday, and oh, God. it just put time in perspective, like, dang, <laughs> she went through a whole pregnancy and two years of her baby's lives, and... I'm still waiting. I didn't want to cry in my videos anymore because I want to be strong, but I want to be real with you guys. I want you guys to see the real Cassie and sometimes I'm sad and that's okay. It's okay to be sad. The most important part is to pick yourself up and that's what I'm doing. I mean, I experienced those sad couple of days and yeah, I'm crying right now, but I'm not like... I'm human, I'm just crying because I'm human, you know? And I shouldn't have to explain that because we should all know that. But, um, yeah, there are some people out there who don't get that. So I have to explain myself. Anyways, I'm, I'm done. I'm happy, I'm done, snapped out of it. All right, I'm good. <laughs> but I don't know, that just kind of put time in perspective for me that it has been a long time of me trying and it makes me sad sometimes but I do know that it is gonna happen because it is and it's gonna happen I mean God's timing is gonna be so perfect and I know that when I do get pregnant and we do have our first baby it's gonna be like dang really I waited all this time and it was so worth it it was so worth it and I know that God isn't going to let us fail. I know that when we do have our, it's our turn to have a baby, it's going to be perfect. Like, I'm going to be able to shop and it's going to be the best. I'm going to be able to decorate a nursery. It's going to be, I know it's going to be stressful at times because money is stressful, but I feel like it's going to happen soon and it's going to be one blessing after another and that's what I'm holding on to. So I have 100% faith that it's going to happen, but I wanted to share with you guys some of the moments where I am sad because it happens and I'm real, I'm a human, I do want a baby so bad, but yeah, I had no direction with this video. I just kind of wanted to start filming and share with you guys me and I've been trying really hard to do positive uplifting like encouraging videos a lot of you guys who are the original subscribers where you saw me you've seen me go through a lot you've seen so much of me and you have been there for me in the sad times and you are here with me now in the brighter happy times and yeah I'm just want to be real don't why do I feel like I don't I don't know why I feel like I have to explain myself with that this part of it like being sad in front of the camera I guess I have a little bit of feeling of embarrassment that I'm being sad and ashamed but you shouldn't be ashamed of you and I'm I've experienced sadness it comes and goes but like I said before the most important thing is that you pick yourself up when you are down you don't stay there and that's one thing my sister has always told me and it always I'm always reminded by it when I am having a hard time is you can be sad. You can have your times where you are just not feeling it. But the most important thing is that you pick yourself up and you come out stronger. 
And I feel like every time I have a down moment or a sad couple of days or whatever the case is, I feel like I come out so much stronger after that, if that makes sense. That is my confession. <laughs> I have just been, or a couple of days, I've just had hard times and that's okay. That is okay. So I hope you guys, I don't know, maybe you feel a little bit of encouragement from this video. Probably not. You just saw me ranting, but yeah, but I didn't even mention it in the beginning of my video. I cut my hair and I'm way blonder. Oh, hold on. Brandon's calling me. Say hi. Out Say hi. Hey. <laughs> exactly where I was, but I cut my hair. I'm way blonder. I'm loving it. Mm -hmm. Just feel sassy. <laughs> So yeah, I'm talking a lot, but all right. And on another quick note, I was sent a, my first PR package and they are these sunglasses. They're super cute. I'm loving the blue lens and they're kind of dirty because I wear them every day, but um, I'm loving the blue lenses with my blonde hair, but they wanted me to do a video and show you guys these glasses. And I do have a coupon code. I'm not sure for how long it's good for, but I do have a coupon code and you guys can get these glasses. And they do have prescription. That's kind of what their specialty is, prescription glasses, but I don't wear glasses. So they did let me do the non-prescription glasses. But I think with the coupon code you can get prescription sunglasses, non-prescription sunglasses, or reading glasses or whatever, regular glasses. But yeah, I will leave that down below. Um, the website and my coupon code. Go check it out and yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! I can't believe I freaking cried.